It's actually two things, but the two go in one. Okay, mastering these scriptures, getting the 100% understanding of this, these scriptures, really getting the full understanding of these scriptures, and going out and teaching it. Whether he goes out in the street or makes videos doing it, or both, which is really supposed to do both. That's it. Okay, that is it. But a lot of guys, man, they just don't get it, man. They really don't understand. They're going to pay pay with their, their ignorance. They're going to pay with their life for that. Okay? I hope I said that right. Let me say it again. They're, they're going to pay for their ignorance with their life. Okay, there it is. They're going to pay for their ignorance with their life. They're going to be part of that judgment that Yahweh Shem Yahshai got out here. Okay? Anyway, 2 Timothy 2 and 9, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, and that, that's going to apply for all of us that are striving to be of that hopeful elect. We're going to suffer trouble. But the good thing about suffering trouble in righteousness is it purges us from the, the stupidity of this world, the false pleasures of this world. And at the same time, it purifies us. Okay? Uh, wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto bonds, but the word of the Most High is not bound. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake. So that's our mentality. Whatever we got to go through, we're going to endure it, especially hardship. And when you're a man of the Lord, you're going to endure hardship. However it comes, whether it comes through your body, you're dealing with all kinds of freaking ailments, you know, or your woman left you, or maybe you're, you're, you're lonely. A lot of times you don't really have a woman uh, you don't have no woman. Some of your brothers are dealing with that. Whatever you're dealing with, man, the hardship of being in this truth. Listen to what the Apostle Paul says. Remember his words. Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake. If it means that I'm going to be part of the elect, I'm on board, man. I'm on board. Like Micah said, I will bear the indignation of the Lord because I have sinned against him. So whatever Yahweh Shemashai brings upon me, as long as he keeps me in this truth, as long as he fills my mind with the Holy Spirit and the understanding of these scriptures, I'll gladly suffer it because I want to be part of the elect. Okay? Now I understand just how truly important the office of the elect is. Especially when I look around and I see other Israelites just doing dumb shit. Stupid shit. Saying stupid shit. Doing dumb shit. Oh, man. It makes the office of the elect that much more attractive. It makes the office of the elect that much more precious. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Therefore, I endure all things for the elect's sake, that they may also obtain the salvation which is in Yahweh Shai with eternal glory. Why? Because pursuant to Matthew 24 and 30, when Yahweh Shai comes, let's get it, who is he going to gather? Huh? Who is Yahweh Shai going to gather when he comes to destroy the society? Right? Let's read it. Uh... Matthew 24 and 29, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven. This is all going to happen on the, the terrible day of the Lord, right? And the powers of heavens or of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven in those so-called UFOs, the chariots, right? And then shall all the tribes of the earth moan. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds, the so-called UFOs, the chariots of the Lord, in the clouds of heaven with, with power and great glory. Now here's the point. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect, his elect, his elect, from the four winds from one end of heaven to the other. The only Israelites that are making it out of here in Babylon is the elect. The only Israelites that are going to be taken up into those chariots all across the world is the elect. So like I said, and I'll say it again, at this point, when you look around, you see all these Israelites just bugging out, these synagogue, these members of the synagogue of Satan, you see them bugging out through the things they do and the things they say. It makes the office of the elect that much more attractive. It makes the office of the elect the most coveted position in Israel. 